Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment in time? I just wanted to come on and talk to y'all for a little moment. But before we get off into that, let's get off into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us, God, us, God, us, protect us throughout this day. And lead us throughout this day and show us the way. And I pray, Father God, that you come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people absolute truth. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people absolute truth. And I thank you for this to my prayer, Father God. Amen. Listen to me. <clears throat> What I want you to know. Yeah, I gotta get this thing out of here. What I want y'all to know is uh um these things <clears throat> Well, I ain't gonna say that, excuse me. <laughs> I want y'all to know about this person. Because he thought he should live away too. And he keeps trying to uh play these games but I caught it this so called used to be ex brother of mine used to be Seneca Ware this is an enemy Now, I was talking about these things that was going on at the, that was going on, and um, with this uh, so-called Latoriele, the one that was in the wheelchair and things like this here, that did these things <coughs> to a lot of people in in Greenville, Mississippi. Also, as well, this uh, Seneca Ware, because he's with them, where well, he's with him. And I was wondering how this Seneca, Seneca knew this Latoria Elliott number. At the time, when I know I didn't give him his number. And at the time that me and that, that person was living together, right? Because we had went half and half on, on paying bills and things like this. But this was before I knew that he was an enemy and an agent of the wicked one. Now, <clears throat> the Seneca as well, he was an agent of the wicked one as well. Because he do a lot of, like, he's just always in trouble. Always. There's nothing, not every single time, every single other day, every, every minute on a minute he's in trouble. So I was wondering why take why is he always, you know, like I couldn't never talk to him. And I was wondering why I couldn't never talk to him. The reason why I couldn't never talk to him, because he was a demon. Mm hmm And I could talk to him about certain things, he'd still go do it. After I just got through talking to him. I knew there was something wrong with him then. You know, so what I want you to know is he's also have been in um, some of these things that him and this Latoria has been doing as well, is which is uh, 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 some of these murders in in Greenville, Mississippi. They were some of these one. They get together and they plan and they plot on people. To mess with people's lives and things like this here. See, y'all don't know how wicked and how uh, uh, um, how malicious these things are. They malicious. You understand me? They do these things to stop people from going forward in their lives, to stop people from their destinies, to stop people from doing these things. These are the ones who have been doing these things around the whole entire city, around the whole entire state. That Mississippi uh, city, that's why Greenville is the way it is. Crime rate, yeah, that's them doing spell work over the city, over the whole entire uh, state. Y'all don't even understand. I told y'all, you got some aliens here up on this planet 
that is some malicious aliens which are those ex-family members which are witches warlocks sources up in that that um in that family their ex-family i left back there that's why jesus showed me who they were that's why father god showed me who they were at that time it's like you have to like i just want to show you something let me just go back with them and i was like i don't want I don't, you know i was like i didn't want to go back with them because I knew it was something like always, every time I look around, they was always trying to call me back to that, that city, like that state, you know, and I wasn't like, why is always, because they knew that the crime wave was up and they was trying to get me sacrificed. But it would never happen because the way I move, the way I move, I don't move with everybody and I don't mess with nobody, you know? So it was, it was, it was, um, it was hard for them to, even then, God had his hand upon me. You know? So, but then we was talking and we were like, I was like, um, and I caught them. You know, now I was, I was, uh, awakened. And as I was awakened and I seen the way they move, they move like, they move as shapeshifters. They, like slithered like snake, they move as shapeshifters through the crowd. And you gotta be able to sit there. That's why I tell a lot of people, just sit there and just watch the thing. Don't move, don't say nothing. Just watch. And when you watch it, and you see it, you're gonna see him, he's gonna move like a, a slither. He's gonna, you know, you're gonna see it. And you're gonna like, oh my goodness. I didn't. And you're gonna see it, and that thing, when he sees that you see it, <clears throat> don't say nothing. Do not say nothing. Don't say, act like you ain't even see it. But just know, do not go back. <clears throat> don't mess with them anymore. But I seen them and I caught them. I caught that snake. I never let them know that I caught them. <clears throat> But as the people in the crowd are doing a party and things like this here, and they doing things like that there, I mean, they doing a party and things like this here, I'm sitting back instead of me saying anything, or, you know, people like, they happy to see me and things like this here, but I'm paying attention to everybody in the crowd. And as I'm paying attention and as I'm sitting back and I'm not saying anything, basically, my peripherals, I'm so awakening and, and while my peripherals is looking, I see the enemy moving through the crowd. Like I can see the physical form of the body of that person. As that person is moving through the crowd, they're moving as if no one else is moving. As if time had slowed down for me and that thing. And I can see it. He knows I can see him. So, but I pay attention, I try and make it seem like as if I didn't see him though, you know, but I seen him. I don't let him know, but I seen that thing though. <laughs> I caught it. And she was a witch. She was one of those ex family members. She was a witch. I caught her. She moved as if, you know, and. and she speak as if she was the nice person. But let me get off into this though. I went off on a rampage. page. But she, she was one of the she was one of the people uh of that the family go to. Cause she was seemed so nice and things like this here, right? And she seemed so educated, but she was one of the roughest witches, one of the she was one of the sneakiest things. She was a shapeshifter. And I looked up a, I, I looked up to her when I was little. I always kind of like stayed with her and things like this, but she was a shapeshifter. And it come to take me back to the times of, man, did she really probably do things to her moms? Because her mom had caught pneumonia, almost like the same way my mama caught it. And so it come, make it come to think about it, that was a yes. That's a confirmation. Same way.
My mom went in the hospital for uh, fluid on the feet. But she caught pneumonia in the hospital. Does not sound right. And I took her to the hospital myself. And she only stayed there for like a day or two. Yeah. The same way her mother died. Yep. So, mm -hmm. that's why I be trying to tell y'all, like, you know, you have to be Your mind have to be on a whole nother level. You have to be outside of this box here. But this enemy, uh, Seneca Ware, he is a part of these cults. He is a part of this covenant. I didn't know these two knew each other, but they knew each other. Well, they knew each other. They've been knowing each other because I had been uh, uh, um, speaking with him and I also, they knew each other. But I didn't know that he knew his number. That's one thing I didn't know. He didn't was supposed to have this number because every time something was going on with me and him or me and this person had gotten to an argument while we had our house out there at that place, he would call the family. And I was wondering, how did he know these people's number? How did he know these people's number? Because the whole time they was already all in a covenant and they was all in a covenant against me trying to keep eyes on me, trying to keep me from moving forward. I've been told y'all this. See, a lot of people have to understand what's going on at this moment in time. Now, my story ain't everybody's story. Your story ain't my story. But I'm telling you, you go to God and you ask God these things, you ask God to show you certain things and he will show you, you have to just ask him. That's all you gotta do. He will give it to you. So, I'm telling you, it might frighten you, but you're going to know. And once you know, there's no change in the, 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 the situation. Now you know. And you know what's taking place now. And you know what's going on. So as you know what's going on, you're able to escape what was meant, you know, was, what was trying to harm you, you know. And that's how the Lord did the things with me. He showed me first. He was like, watch this. And he showed me these things and I connected the dots all the way back into such and such time. I'm like, okay. And they knew I was, I don't think they knew, but I was pretty good at connecting dots. I was pretty good at a puzzle or, 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 or unsolved mysteries. I was just good at all that type of stuff. I, I was able to read a person whether a person was telling me something that they think that I wanted to hear and I just sit there and just, yeah, I know you, know, you know, <laughs> but I ain't going to say nothing, you know, and, <clears throat> and I just don't say nothing, you know, I just walk off, but I knew the person was lying and, um, <clears throat> I just let him believe that lie, you know, that's the thing, you can't play into the enemy's line to the point where He's trying to lie to you to the point where he believes the lie. That's where I leave him with the lie so that he will fall into his own lie. You understand? <laughs> That's how you play that. You know, I, I know you're lying. I, I ain't going to say that I know you're lying, but I know you're lying. I'm just going to take it with a grain of salt. And I'm going to walk off. And I'm going to leave you with that lie. For you think that you lied to me. Plain and simple. So, um, <laughs> I just want y'all to know, this thing is messing with my nose. Um, but with this cynical well, though, um, I call judgment upon this enemy. Because he works with this Latori Elliot. And he works with him and these ex-family members. They have, they probably got a whole link of murders, you know, inside their city and things like this here. Just being honest with you, but I know for sure that they tried to do some certain things to me and they did certain things to a couple of my family members. So, I just want y'all to know, but let's get off into this. I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that you bring down the wrath of God, judgment, karma, death, and destruction uh, um, 
upon this cynical well, and that you and that I call judgment upon this cynical well, and that you set our swords to death, our swords, our weapons of war, and that you expose this cynical well up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm, up in the earth, up in the spirit realm, up in the earth, up in this realm, in the universe, in the spirit realm, in the universe, in this realm. I pray and I prophesy, I declare, decree on the same voice I command. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God. That you said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. Jesus, you said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. I said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. Universe, you said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. Counsel me, you said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. Ancient ones, you said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. Sister Master, you said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. Everybody from the multi universe, oh my God, you said I swore the devil, I swore that I was a war. Um. Avenger, angel, tiger, angel, tower, angel, power, angel, arc, angel, domain, angel, avenger, angel, war, angel, y'all send out sword, death, I swore that I would war. Counsel me, you said I swore, death, I swore that I would war. To destroy and to bring down and to expose this, uh, 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 um, Seneca where and to bring down judgment upon this Seneca where. Judgment, calm, and death, and destruction upon this Seneca where. And that you expose him in the astral realm, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm. And the earth in the spirit realm, and the earth in this realm. And the universe in the spirit realm, and the universe in this realm. I pray and I prophesy, I declare the creator on the sound of what's the command. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God. There's all the commandment judgment, Father God. There's all the commandment judgment, Jesus. There's all the commandment judgment, Angel One. There's all the commandment judgment, my angel. There's all the commandment judgment, universe. There's all the commandment judgment, my angel. There's all the commandment judgment. Trooper, there's all the commandment judgment, God. There's all the commandment judgment, uh, ascending master. I pray and I prophesy, declare the creed on the sound of what's the command. Now, I pray y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ. This moment, time get to some fast, some prayer, some reading your word, be in relationship with the Lord, commune with the Lord. Now, this is God's good news for you that y'all be blessed. Amen.